my personality is very much like anything that's trying to go against me, I just kind of use as fuel. So whenever I would have a moment of, I don't belong here or I shouldn't be here or I'm not cut out for this, I would be able to push myself forward with the, I am hell bent on making video games and I'm gonna do it regardless of what it takes. I've been playing video games as long as I can remember. I think I was like three years old when I was playing Frogger and then, you know, if me and my brother weren't fighting for once, we would play Mario Party or Super Smash. But then around fourth grade, I started playing a lot of single player games. Final Fantasy X was one of the main things that got me into like video games are an emotional experience, not just a way to, you know, have some fun. I couldn't wait to get home from school some days and just go and play it more. I would stay up till like three in the morning and get yelled at for playing it for so long just because it was like, it really dragged me in. It was a, you know, a way to get into somebody else's life and just escape the world for a day. I want to bring other people that kind of experience. At NC State, they have a game development concentration. And there was like three of us that were girls in that concentration. It's a very small concentration to begin with, but the majority of it was just boys. Freshman year, I went to this campus connections crawl where all the student organizations go out and like set up a booth and have, you know, their, hey, come check out our, you know, our club. And Women in Computer Science was one that I was like, oh, I need to go by that one. I saw them juggling all these things. They were hosting all these events. They were doing all this awesome stuff. They were advocating. They threw this event called Diamond Hacks and they were gonna make it an all-female hackathon. I had been to the Global Game Jam once in my freshman year. I think I was one of the maybe two girls there. And it was one of those things where the first person I met, he looked at me like I shouldn't be there and I didn't know what I was doing. Second dude I tried to meet looked at me like I was a piece of meat for lack of a better word. But at Diamond Hacks, it was an all-female hackathon. So I just didn't have that experience at all. It was just, you're a developer, hi. And so after that event, I decided I wanna be an officer for women in computer science and help throw on stuff like this. I wanted to make sure all these other women coming into the major wouldn't have to feel like they couldn't do it or they, you know, if they faced a roadblock, they'd have somewhere or some place to go to be able to regroup. Thank you for taking the time to consider me for the Women in Game Convention and the past to GDC. Being an advocate for women in tech and women in game development is just probably one of the best things I will do with my life. When I found out I got Game Changers, I just was kind of like floored by it. I was just like, wait, what? Oh, shit. I accept, yeah, heck yeah, I'll be there. I had picked out all these talks that I wanted to go to, all these things that I wanted to do. One of my favorite games, Dishonored, you know, they came out with Dishonored 2 recently, and the two of the devs were giving a talk on the AI behind it. And at the end of the talk, they were like, hey, our recruiter Rob is in the back. You know, if you want to come work with us, go talk to him. I, I handed him my card. I was like, hey, you know, I'm Dana, I'm a student. I'm looking for entry level for next year or internships if y'all have that kind of thing. And I didn't know this, but they do have internships at Bethesda. You know, people say this conference can be life-changing, but it literally was life-changing for me and Game Changers was literally like the catalyst for that. Cause if they hadn't picked me and given me the pass, I would never have been able to come here, never would have met Rob and never would have applied to Bethesda. I would not be where I am today without that program. I'm really looking forward to the Women in Gaming event this year because it's gonna be a lot bigger than last year from what I've heard. It's like nine hours or something this year, which is awesome. And I'm looking forward to meeting this year's Game Changers. You know, I kind of want to be like, all right, don't get too overwhelmed this week. You're going to be fine. The week's going to be over before you know it. So try to enjoy yourself while you can. If you look on the horizon of your career, what do you kind of see there? Oh, goodness. Last year at GDC, I went to a talk where the game director of Final Fantasy XV talked. And that talk was like one of my favorite ones the entire time. And it was like, all right, I kind of want to do that. I want to be a game director. And it was just kind of like, you know, that whole, back in high school, I want to make video games someday. It was like that all over again. And so, you know, right now I'm only an associate programmer. I am a very much a baby compared to all the legends that I'm working with. But like, eventually I want to be, you know, lead programmer or lead UI person on a project and work my way up to eventually game director at a studio somewhere. That is the ultimate goal right now.